Hi, I'm Paul Elkington and next to me is Richard Harris and a few years ago we decided to try and recreate the uh, outside broadcast vehicles that were used by the BBC for the coverage of horse racing. Um, they predominantly use Citroen uh, cars for the suspension and um, this car here is XM, it's the last vehicle they used and um, we decided to recreate an XM as it would have been used and Richard will tell you something about the equipment in it. So we've got a Philips LDK5 which is a tube camera on the top of this car and um, it's, it's a period correct camera and all the electronics in the truck we managed to find which uh, uh, also were used in the Citroen cars. It, it is a representative model um, we've had to modify the car quite a bit, take the back windows out and put the panels in to give the access and the facility for mounting the aerials. Uh, inside the passenger seat is turned round because the engineer faced the back of the car and then the roof is reinforced with uh, steel uh, channeling to carry the weight of the camera down to the side pillars of the, of the car. It, it's all real, it all works uh, and it's, it's equipment as, it would, as would have been used originally and you can see those pictures on our display monitor there from the camera here t today. And how long did it take to build this thing? Um, well from the time we sort of said okay let's do it, so we first showed it was about two years. Um, we sourced the car fairly quickly. Um, as we've sit now found out, it's very rare, the car itself. Only two Citroen uh, XM estates exist, as far as we know. Oh, wow. So I thought the Citroen sort of uh, club of Great Britain would be pretty annoyed that we'd um, gutted their car to do this to it. <laughs> but as you can see, we're on the Citroen stand and they're over the moon with it. Um, it. They've never had so much attention on the stand. So do we know what happened to the original car that BBC As used? far as we know, certainly uh, we think, and we can't be sure, but they certainly rusted out quite well, they thrashed them to bits over rough roads, they ended up in the scrapyard as far as we can tell. How is much it? weight does this add to the car? Well, we don't want to say that because it's probably really not road legal. <laughs> <laughs> There's an interesting uh, extra bit uh, relating to the, the previous version of this, the Citroen CX, um, because <clears throat> when the BBC had finished using the CX as a roving eye and it had been replaced with this one, uh, they were doing experiments with remote control cameras, what they called the ball cameras. And so they took the CX uh, and cut the back out of it and made it like a pickup trunk <laughs> and used it as a test bed for different types of mobile uh, remote control cameras. Um, after that, I suspect they, they, they did scrap it because it was a bit yeah. of a mess then. <laughs> <laughs> we take it to shows. Um, it's gone to the Vintage uh, Wireless Society show. It's called Retro Tech. It's here. Um, it's going at the end of this month to the Guild of Television Camera Professionals 50th uh, award ceremony, isn't it? Yes, 50th anniversary. So, um, yeah, we're open to offers. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you'd like it somewhere. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. That's yeah. absolutely awesome. Well done, guys. It's a fantastic vehicle. Well worth preserving a wonderful part of both automotive and media history. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next.